Hello, dear beloved one. I am happy to meet you once again on Wake Up to Hope. This is a new week, but the beautiful thing is, is a new year as well. The first week in the new year. We thank God for all that he did for us last year. God was gracious to us. He provided for us, and he led us through the thin and thick. And by the grace of God, we have been emerged victorious because we are in 2022. What a great thing, God. And God bless you so much for following us all the way from 2021 into 2022. We thank God. Now we are beginning a new year, also with a new week. What do you think should be the beginning point or where we should start from? I believe that we should start from the place of prayer. Why Jesus started with prayer and he ended with prayer. That is why we ended with prayer and we are beginning the new year with prayer. So we are looking at prayer because it is the breath of the believer. It is the only way we can commune with God. The only channel heaven has made available unto us that anytime we want to engage heaven, we should do that through prayer. What a beautiful thing. And we know that we need to commit the whole week into the hands of God. And the whole year, we need God's guidance and leadership. And that is why prayer becomes the most important thing at this time. So we are looking on the team for the week. The team for the week is you ought to pray always. You ought to pray always. This is a statement that Jesus made. And Luke recorded it in his book or in his gospel. So it, will, it is found in Luke chapter number 18, verse number 1. He said, then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. Men always ought to pray and not lose heart. This is Jesus himself speaking and telling you the mysteries of the kingdom of God. And he said, in the kingdom of God, we ought to pray always. It is important to learn this. It's a command from Jesus. And I just want us to look at the word ought. Because that particular word is a key to the whole statement. The word ought means it is necessary. Or it, there is need of. Or you can also say is right or proper. Jesus is saying it is right and proper for you and I to pray always without losing heart. It is necessary. There are things that necessitate prayer. There are things that necessitate that the believer must be consistent and persistent in prayer. That you do not stop praying at all. The circumstances around us in this world demand us to pray all the time. The life situations we encounter demands us to pray all the time. And even the way we were created, we were created in the image of God. The source of life is God. There is nothing we can do without God. So for us to be able to live a good life and a life that is pleasing to God, we must have a constant connection with heaven. And how can we do that? It is the only means that we can do that. That is what is called prayer. Prayer is the only means. The only means we can talk to God. So when you deny yourself prayer, you are denying yourself access to God. And that is what Jesus says. It is important. It is necessary. It is proper that you cultivate this habit. Especially in the year 2022, beloved, nobody knows what is in it. But the only one who knows the end from the beginning is God. So you need to con get contact with heaven. Keep contact with heaven. You remain faithful to God and always engage in heaven to know how to go about your life, how to do things. And I believe God will bless you. This week, remember to pray for yourself. Remember to pray for other people. Remember to pray for the ministries in the church. Remember to pray for the sick and the distraught. Remember to pray for those who are ensnared in sin. Remember to pray for the nations. Remember to pray for all kinds of people because that is prayer. Prayer is not only asking God for your needs, but prayer is what? Talking to God about all things. Beloved, you need to take charge of your environment through prayer. You need to take charge of your life through prayer. This year comes with many things. Do not deceive yourself thinking that everything is going to be rosary. No, there will be challenging and difficult times. But those who are able to stand up in prayer, they are the ones that will succeed. So it is important you cultivate this spiritual attitude. 
of consistent, consistently remaining in God's presence. Jesus said, remain in God's presence. It is necessary to pray without you giving up. There are times you may be attempted or you may be tempted, sorry, to give up. But don't give up. Don't give up. Because it is important. Because without it, you can't survive. Without it, you cannot excel. Without it, you cannot achieve your purpose. So make prayer part and parcel of your daily life. May God bless you and keep you. May God guide you through this week and this year. May prayer become part of your life. May you always seek heaven's intention concerning everything you do. May God bless you. Have a prosperous new year. In Jesus' name, I pray with you. Amen.